Dear friends, uh, greetings from Jerusalem, from the Mount of Olives. And uh, here we are uh, right now with our family who are snacking on some chips and things over there. Uh, Sarah, what's been a highlight for you of our time here in Israel? Uh, coming here, basically. I mean, it's just been a miracle that we've even been able to be here at this time. Uh, a few weeks ago, you would have thought maybe not, but yes, okay, the, the rockets are still flying and the IDF are doing a great job protecting the land. But uh, we really felt now was the time. And to prove God is in control of things, we haven't heard one rocket siren since we've been here. And that's been in Jerusalem. We have felt to stay in Jerusalem. We haven't felt to travel around, partly because the kids need to stay settled. But also now we can see God's keeping us safe in one location. And it's been a real privilege to meet uh, people here locally uh, from various ministries and to see their courage and being here at this time. Uh, and... Uh, you know, why, why are we here? What, what's the purpose of us being in Israel in a wartime? I think just telling them that we love them, that we want to be here, that we're supporting them, that despite what the world is saying, that there are people that love and support them and want to join with them in this time. As a family, we can't do much, but we can be here and we can buy things and take our kids places, and that's what we've been doing. We've just been doing the normal things, around Jerusalem and in and out of different areas. But at the same time, it's that we're here. That's been the message, that we're here to support. Yeah, it speaks volumes. Uh, and uh, for us, a particular prayer assignment has been for the hostages and especially for the, the children to be released. There's one little girl who our twins have really noticed and been praying for. And uh, today is the first day of hostages being released. So we're praying. Uh, that that girl and many others will be released at this time. And we're, we're praying for a greater breakthrough, but it's one step in the right direction. So we've been here for a few weeks. We're heading back to Australia soon. It's as if God has had us here on assignment and no doubt he's going to send others as well. Mm -hmm. uh, any last words, Sarah, from, from Jerusalem to our friends back in Australia? No, just thank you very much for praying for us and supporting us, those that have been hearing about this and uh, just know that God has certainly had his ha hand on us and then we look forward to coming back to Australia. Yeah, blessings from Jerusalem, from the Mount of Olives, and you know what? One day, He, the Lord, is coming back to this place. Amen. So we need to be ready for that day and that's why we're here. God bless you all. Bye.